married Mr. Worthing. I adore you, but you haven't proposed to me yet. Nothing has been said at all about marriage. The subject has not even been touched on. I think it would be an admirable opportunity. And to spare you any possible disappointment, Mr. Worthing, I think it only fair to tell you, quite frankly beforehand, that I am fully determined to accept you. <laughs> oh, what time is it? Oh, geez, how did it get so late? Okay, well, how are you feeling? I mean, I'm good to keep going if you are. Don't be silly. I can outlast you easily. But maybe we should take a break first. Get something to eat, take some deep breaths. What do you think? Sure, that works. I have nowhere else to be. Let's grab a bite and run it all a few more times, and then we can go crash. Until next time, anyway. Good? I mean, it's Oscar Wilde. We won't do it justice if we don't get it just right. The man was far too clever to be half-assed. Good. Mm, hang on, let me just... There we go. Here, you want some of this? It's good. Of course it is, I made it myself. Please! I'm not just a great actress, I'm a solid baker too. My brownies are legendary. There you go. See? Amazing, right? Nice try, but you aren't that good an actor. I know you love them. Of course I do. Your eyes give you away. Have some more. <sighs> this is becoming something of a habit with us. You know, working on the same production, getting an early start on the lines together. We're such overachievers. Me more than you, I think. No, nothing wrong with it. Although, it's been a while since we were opposite each other like this. That long? Wow. Yeah, we've been at this a while. <laughs> you know what, though? This one is one of my favorites. This play. I've loved it since high school. You know, once a drama kid, always a drama kid. I guarantee you were no better. <laughs> I really do love it, though. I kind of always hoped I'd get to do it. When the audition came up, I might have made high-pitched noises of excitement. Shut up. There's nothing wrong with being excited over a part. How about you? Well, I'm glad, then. It might just be a solid production. I mean, with the two of us, it has to be at least passingly good. But don't worry, I won't jinx it. Hmm. <sighs> Can you hand me that? Thank you. How have things been lately? The family doing okay? That's good. Oh yeah, all is well. My parents are traveling right now, living their retirement dream. Must be nice. <laughs> I'm happy for them, they deserve it. And when they come back, they usually bring me chocolate from various countries, so I can't complain. Honestly, there's nothing like Swiss chocolate direct from the source. Eh, maybe. If you say pretty, please. Well, that's up to me, isn't it? My chocolate, my rules. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. Well, I mean, how often do we talk when we're not working together? Maybe we should talk more often between shows. Yeah, like friends. Actual friends. We are friends, right? Well, that's a relief. <laughs> but, yeah, no, we're not together anymore. We split up a few months ago. No, it's totally fine. I'm way over it. In fact, it was a bit weird. We were together for a long time, but I think we were both just going through the motions. And we didn't even realize it, you know? Yeah, the breakup itself was rough, but afterward, I didn't miss it. I genuinely didn't miss that relationship at all. Is that strange? Like, really nothing about it. 
Well, I thought it was kind of strange. Like, what had I been doing all along if it wasn't something worth missing? Yeah, I took it as a sign to be a little more cognizant of what's going on around me when I'm seeing someone. Pay attention to the red flags, check in with myself to make sure I'm still happy, that sort of thing. Ask the important questions before time gets away from me and I end up waking up next to a stranger. Yeah, maybe a little dramatic, but you know me. That's my style. I'm the best. <laughs> It feels like a long time ago now, and in the meantime, I've been working on myself, doing the self-care, self-improvement thing, and I think it's been going well. Okay, I know, I'm sorry, I really should have reached out, but you know, you didn't call or text me either. You could have texted once in a while. I get that, but still, I guess we're both guilty of being bad friends. What should our penance be? Nope, I'm not on board with that. Brownies are my life. I'll do my own penance, thank you. Oh, I will. I'll come up with something a little less punishmenty. <laughs> Whatever, you're not the boss of me. Okay, since we're friends, here's a question. What's your favorite play of all time? Either. Yeah? We did that one together. Wait. Wasn't that the last time we were... Yeah. Huh. That's another one I've always liked. And I'm not a huge fan of Shakespeare, to be honest. Come on, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Don't be a snob. But Beatrice and Benedict, I love their fire. They were the ultimate tsundere's, you know? <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. And you were a perfect Benedict. Just the right amount of smug jerk. Like it came naturally to you. I said just enough, not too much. <sighs> I enjoyed that production a lot. Mostly because of you. Well, yeah, of course. I like working with you. Is that so hard to believe? And that was just such a great time. I felt like we fit really well. Yeah, chemistry. We definitely had chemistry. Please. I'd say I've been lucky to work with you so many times, but maybe you're the lucky one. I've carried you, literally and figuratively. My back is just aching right now from all the effort. Hey, all kidding aside, I'm sorry I haven't been that great a friend. No, let me talk. I know you like the sound of your own voice, but so do I, and I have things to say. I think I've taken for granted that you're always sort of there. Back in school, of course, and now with a production every so often. We cross paths and things go well, and we have fun and tease and work and hang out. We fight over who's the better performer, and then we part ways and go do something else. But I just assume we'll cross again, because we always do. But that's not really fair, is it? No, I need to do better. Because I really do think of you as a friend. And I'm grateful that I get to work with you on this. I can't imagine anyone else playing Ernest. Shut up, I mean it. And it's not just the snark, although you'd make a great algae too, come to think of it. No, but you're so solid in every way. Every role, you are amazing. Your talent blows me away, no matter what you're doing. You're one of my favorite people to just sit back and watch. When you're on stage... I don't see how anyone can be looking at anything but you. You just... shine. I can't take my eyes off you. It's amazing I can remember my lines when you're right there in front of me. Wow, I really do seem to like the sound of my own voice. Jeez. Okay, seriously, it's late and I am clearly brownie drunk. Forget I said anything. That entire ramble was just... Yeah, not necessary. No, I'm sorry. We can just wrap this up now. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. All of that was just... the worst sort of improv. I yes-anded myself right off a cliff. You sure you're not? Please be honest with me. I don't want to make it weird. 
We've got a lot of work ahead on this, and the last thing I want is to screw with the chemistry. Okay then, if you're sure. Yeah, maybe a bit more. All right, where do you want to pick up from? Uh, what kissing scene? We don't have a kissing scene. Cecily and Algy do, but we don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know this one, remember? Really? Okay, since you clearly mean to torture me... Of course I was serious. You're amazing. I meant what I said. Just... don't let it go to your head. Well, thanks. That means a lot coming from you. Of course it does. It's nothing less than what I deserve, but it's nice to hear it from you. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, of course I remember that. Act 5, Scene 4. What's your point? We have Oscar Wilde to do, not Shakespeare. Um, yeah, I do. But why are we... It's late, though. Why do you want to... <sighs> Fine. Um, give me a sec. Okay. I would not deny you. But, by this good day, I yield upon great persuasion. And partly to save your life, for I was told you were in a consumption. Well, what are you waiting for? You said you wanted to do this line. Do it so we can get back to the other. I said... <sighs> You did remember the line. And you effectively stopped my mouth. Nicely done. So, you want to tell me why you needed to do that right now? And, was it the same as before? That's good, I guess. So what? Oh. You do. For real, you're not just acting. I mean, it doesn't hurt to check. I think... Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. How about tomorrow? All right, then. We can meet there at seven. Just us. No scripts or lines or roles. You and me having dinner. A real date. I think that sounds like a great time. Just promise me one thing, Ernest, or Benedict, or whoever you are right now. Promise you'll kiss me again. Good. Because after that, we definitely need an encore. Hey everyone, I want to give many, many thanks to my Olympian patron, Sean, for coming up with the script idea and workshopping it with me. If you would like to give me script ideas, hang out with me on Discord, or just support me in general, please feel free to go to patreon.com slash urbannymph. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you soon.